Ladies and gentlemen, what happens if I told you that there was a key piece of information that alcohol companies are hiding from you that they're not putting on their alcohol label? There is key information that is completely and utterly missed out. And today in this video, that's exactly what we're gonna dissect. Now, I know for millions of people out there, they drink alcohol every single day. It doesn't cause any major issues. Sure, it does absolutely nothing for them. If you've watched this channel for a while, you'll know what I'm talking about. But at the same time, they do it and they truly believe that it helps them relax. It helps them to wind down after a long day of work. It helps them have a good time, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right? We all know the reasons why people drink. But at the same time, there is information that's hidden from you, whether you're a heavy drinker or you're somebody that has like one or two drinks. And that's what I'm gonna break down for you today. And this is gonna be a really cutting video. If, if you just don't wanna face this problem, you don't wanna look at your drinking ever, then I'm sorry, but this video is not for you. It's gonna make you uncomfortable. It's not gonna be an enjoyable thing to watch. But if you're somebody that is drinking alcohol and you wanna know the truth, right? You've got an open mind and you're ready to swallow that bitter red pill that really helps you see alcohol for what it is, then you need to watch this entire video because I am gonna hold nothing back whatsoever. Now, who exactly am I? So my name is Leon Sylvester. I run a company called SoberClear.com. I've not drank for just over four years after 10 years of trial and error, trying to do AA meetings, trying to use willpower, call myself an alcoholic. See, none of that stuff worked for me, but what did work for me was consuming good quality information that helped me make a logical choice to not drink, and then I never wanted to drink again. Now, that's what I help people do in my company, SoberClear. If you want more details on that, head over to SoberClear.com or click the link in the description. There'll be some links and videos and things like that you can watch. But what I do on this channel is I help people build a totally new paradigm, seeing alcohol for what it is, instead of seeing it as a way to relax and have fun. Because all of those ideas are not entirely true. And I, we're not gonna go too deep into that in this video, but I really wanna get into this, this, this information that alcohol companies are hiding. From. Now let's say you wake up one morning and you've got a splitting migraine, right? You've got a headache and it's just, oh, you can't do anything with your day. So you go and get some paracetamol. You open a box of paracetamol and what do you have? You have something that looks like this, right? You've got a list full of medication side effects, a list of who shouldn't take this, a list of what to do if something goes wrong. You have a just a tremendous list of information about what to do if this drug has any adverse effect on you. And that's not just paracetamol, right? That's, that's, that's all sorts of medication. When you go to the liquor store, to the convenience store, the grocery store, whatever, and you go and buy a bottle of wine, are you getting anything like that? And I'm not trying to talk to you like a child or a baby, right? But you don't get information about the side effects of alcohol. You don't get a sheet of paper that shows you all of the bad things that could happen, right? There's not a, there's not a sheet of paper with a picture of somebody that's just drink, drunk driven their car and died, right? You've not got a picture of a broken family. You've not got a picture of a, a wife with a black eye because these are the things that can happen when somebody drinks, right? We know that when people drink alcohol, you have something that happens called alcohol myopia. And alcohol myopia is this very short-sighted thinking where people do the most unthinkable things that they would never do without drinking, like drink driving, unprotected sex, you know, cheating on partners, all of these crazy things that happen when people drink alcohol. But we don't get this in a nice pamphlet that says, warning, if you drink this, these things have been known to happen. We don't get pictures of people that are getting their stomach pumped because they've drank too much. In fact, we get absolutely nothing. And in fact, as soon as you turn 18, you can walk into a convenience store, or 21, sorry, in, in the States, I'm from England. In England, it's 18. Anyway, you can walk into a store, you get no information. You know, you, you should just know this. This should just be common knowledge that, yeah, you only are supposed to drink a certain amount of this highly, 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 highly addictive drug that you've been brainwashed from day one of being born to see it as a good thing. You get no information, you can go and buy it. And actually what you can do if you, you're inclined that way is you can actually go and buy two bottles of neat spirits, drink it and die. And there is nothing on any labels that's gonna prevent you from doing it. And I'm, you know, I'm not trying to be a conspiracy theorist and I'm also not trying to knock you. If you're the type of person that's, you know, you don't even want to address this problem. That it's just causing no major issues for you in your life. Then maybe this is the wrong video for you. Now, in my situation, I tried to stop drinking so many times. Like there was never a day that I woke up after drinking and thought that was a great decision, Leon. Like, I'm so happy that I did that. That was the best night ever. 99.9% of the time, I was waking up with a hangover, regretting it, feeling shame, feeling guilt, and feeling like whatever I just did sucked. Now, if you go to a bar and you order a beer, and every single time you order a beer, they give you a pamphlet like this, with all the side effects, all the bad things that can happen, what to do if something bad happens, because there are people that do have allergic reactions to alcohol. If you were to go and get that every single time you drank alcohol, would you actually drink it? Well, 
maybe. Maybe you just kind of put it to the side and drink it anyway, but it doesn't happen. And why? Well, I'm not trying to go head to head against the alcohol industry, right? That's definitely not my intention. I know that for some people, alcohol just doesn't cause the same kind of problems that it caused for me and many other viewers of this channel. But at the same time, there's this double standard, right? Because for people that can't control their drinking, for people that do go overboard, that binge drink, or they tell themselves they're gonna stop and they never do, or you know, it's causing big issues in their life. For those people, what starts happening is, well, we start thinking that there's something wrong with those people, right? We don't think there's anything wrong with the drug. We don't think there's anything wrong with it being addictive. We don't think there's anything wrong with this conditioning and this idea that it's going to add value into our life. What we all do is just think, oh, that person is an alcoholic. That person is weak-willed. That person has got some something wrong with them. So nobody in society ever looks at the drug. And why? Why exactly is that? Well, it's because most of the population are addicted to alcohol. Most of the population don't want to look at their drinking problem. Most of the population that are watching this video are going to be offended with what I say. I get it all the time. People in the comments like, uh, you, what are you talking about? I can take it or leave it, blah, blah, blah. Shut up, leave me alone. Let me drink in peace. I hear this all the time. And that's fine. I'm not telling you what to do. All I'm trying to do is make you look at the problem, right? Look at the situation, look at alcohol, see it for what it is, and hopefully, right, if you've got a rational thinking brain, you'll come to the same conclusion that I did. And you will see alcohol as poison, as something that does nothing for you, whatsoever. And if they're giving me a pamphlet this big for some paracetamol and they're not doing it for alcohol, it's almost like somebody wants me to drink it. It's almost like somebody's making hundreds of billions of dollars. Almost like, right? Because they are. So just bear it in mind that next time you buy alcohol, there is no pamphlet, but I'm telling you, here is the pamphlet. Alcohol is a poison. The side effects of drinking alcohol too much are death. Other side effects include broken relationships, broken marriage, destroyed health, and the list goes on and on and on. And for some of you guys, that's a bitter pill to swallow. And instead of facing it head on, just so many people just bury their head in the sand. They never look at it. They just drink and drink and drink until they get to 80 years of age and realize I was addicted to a drug my whole life. And I don't want that for you. Now, if you click the video on the screen now, you'll learn how David stopped drinking for 11 months by reframing how he viewed alcohol. Definitely check that out and I'll see you in the next video.